Hello, folks. It's Victoria Stakelam here with today's Career Power Tuesday tips. And I've just got a quick message for you today, and it's on the topic of choice and language. I would observe that many of us act from a place of believing that we do not have choice. So we're not loving our job or we're feeling frustrated or overlooked or undervalued or overwhelmed or like we want something to be different in our life. And we think and we speak as if we don't have a choice. So we say things like, well, I have to stay here. I have to work where I work because there might be a recession coming or I've got to pay the mortgage or, you know, I I'm lucky to at least have a job at the moment or, you know, we we put these brackets around ourselves and then we don't even look at what else might be out there or we don't have the conversation with our boss that signals our ambition or says, I'm actually a bit bored, I could do a lot more. We sit there quietly forgetting that we absolutely have a choice. We have a choice to give eight hours or more of our time, effort and energy each day to the organisation that we work within. We have a choice to stay within our marriage or relationship. We have a choice to stay in the home that we've got with the associated mortgage. We have a choice to leave our organisation and take a leap into the great unknown. And yeah, choices have consequences. So it's absolutely appropriate that we think very carefully about choosing different. But if you aren't happy where you are, or you aren't happy in the thing that you are in, then why wouldn't you explore what the alternative might look like? Usually, the thing that might get in our way is fear, or some kind of inner resistance, perhaps some emotional baggage from the past that's holding us stuck or getting in the way or making us fearful of taking a chance or making a different choice. And I just want to invite you to consider that creating choice for yourself, whether that be through exploring other options or having gentle, constructive conversations about additional responsibilities or additional opportunities, creating choice for ourselves doesn't mean we have to pursue that alternative path, but often just the act of starting that process of recognizing that we are making a choice to be in the thing that we are in and sort of waking up from that habit, that comfort zone can help us realize and see sometimes for the first time in a very long time, just how much capability we have to create and experience something different. So have a think today. If you're not entirely happy with your lot, with your current situation, professionally or personally, have a think about what other choices there are available to you. If you knew you could not fail, what might you do instead? What might you go and explore? What other choice might you consider if you knew you would not fail? Because so often it's our fear of things not working out. It's our fear of failure that stops us even looking at that other type of life that we could maybe lean towards, but we're scared, so we don't. It's a really powerful exercise for your subconscious if you intentionally explore other things you could do, other choices you could make, just as a an experiment in thinking and see what opens up for you when you do. And if you need some support with that, and if you are feeling a bit stuck, or you're hearing me say that you have choice and you're just not really buying it, or it feels too big to explore on your own, then I want to remind you that I am running one of my monthly career success masterclasses tomorrow, looking at my diary here, tomorrow at 12.30. It's just one hour of your time to dedicate to discussing, exploring, reviewing exactly where you are in your career, specifically tomorrow we'll be, we'll be exploring, and where you might like to get to, and what might be in the way, and what other choices there might be available to you. And I'll share with you some of my learnings, some of the tools I use, and some of my own experience of that dawning realization that I have a choice 
and I get to do something different. And hopefully that will help open up your thinking as well. So I will drop the link to register in the comments below this video. I think I can do that everywhere that this video will go. And feel free to join me. This is your last chance saloon, really, to get registered for tomorrow's event. It will be a relatively small, intimate masterclass. You'll get lots of support and time to explore where you're at and explore the different choices that might be available to you to create some change, some forward motion and some different energy within your career. So I hope that's given you good food for thought. Have a great rest of your week and I will be back next week with more Career Power Tuesday tips. It's Dr. Victoria here of The Success Smith and I'll see you again soon.